we are asked to solve the inequality 3x minus 2 divided by a negative 5 is less than or equal to 6, and then write this solution in interval notation. In order to solve this inequality, we would have to isolate our variable x on one side of the inequality. This would mean that we would must multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative 5. Therefore, we're going to have to remember what happens when we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number. Let's investigate this a little bit further. If I want the opposite of x to be greater than 2 on my number line, this would mean I would pick all values such as the opposite of x is greater than 2. I want to know what this means in terms of just x. That is, when I multiply both sides of my inequality by a negative 1. Well, if the opposite of x is greater than 2, that would tell me that x has to be less than a negative 2, which means that when I took my original inequality and multiplied both sides by a negative 1, I reversed the sign of my inequality. Another way I could look at this is if I was going to solve the opposite of x is greater than 2, I could do this in two steps. The first thing I could do is I could subtract 2 from both sides. I would have the opposite of x minus 2 is greater than 0. Then I could add x to both sides of the inequality, giving me a negative 2 is greater than x, which tells me that x is less than, or neg less than a negative 2 which is the same as we got when we reversed the inequality. Now I'm ready to go back to solve the original inequality. Like we said earlier, the first step would be to multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative 5. This is going to reverse the inequality sign. I'd have on the right, left-hand side 3x minus 2 divided by a negative 5 times a negative 5, and we will notice that negative 5 divided by negative 5 cancels to make 1, so I'm left with 3x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 6 times a negative 5, which is a negative 30. Now I can add 2 to both sides, and I would have 3x is greater than or equal to a negative 30 plus 2, which is a negative 28. Finally, I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 3, resulting in the statement that x has to be any number greater than or equal to a negative 28 thirds. 28 thirds, negative 28 thirds, is equivalent to negative nine and one-third. So if I pick any number greater than or equal to a negative 28 thirds, I could verify whether or not my solution makes sense. For example, I know that x equal to zero is definitely greater than a negative 28 thirds. When I plug in zero or substitute zero back into my original inequality, I have 3 times 0 minus 2 all over a negative 5, and I want to verify that that is indeed less than or equal to 6. Well, 3 times 0 is 0, so I am left with a negative 2 divided by a negative 5. Negative 2 divided by a negative 5 is equal to a positive 2 fifths, and a positive 2 fifths is definitely less than or equal to 6. Therefore, my last step is to take my answer, x being greater than or equal to negative 28 thirds, and write that in interval notation. Since I'm looking at x being greater than or equal to a negative 28 thirds, we know that we would start with our brackets of negative 28 thirds and then go to infinity. Giving us D as our answer.